Remember, on top of the diffusion pump here, there was a little nut and a washer. This from here? Did you see that? That's the one. With the pump? Yeah. Because it's got to join up to this one. So that rubber hose will run down to here somewhere. Yeah. Like that. Is it going all the way down? Well, it, oh, it's going to be a little bit short. Probably half an inch, maybe. Wouldn't you hate it if you broke that as you were taking oh, it off? Hey? I'm waiting for it to break to my hand. You should come in. You want some gloves? I got some gloves. That one's coming up. That should do it. Actually, loosen it off a bit. What I'll do is I'll bring it back this way a bit there. Go there. There's the culprit, right there. Son of a bitch. Looks like Renato's got a bit more work to do. All right, that's the manifold completed, tested, working. Well, there we go. Progress. There's a quick shot of the vacuum gauge. We're holding a vacuum there. And there's a quick shot of the borosilicate glass manifold that Renato put together. All of these yellow taps that you can see are all isolation valves for the backing and the diffusion pump. There's a quick shot of the manifold. 
where we join the neon sections. And there's a quick shot of a couple of sections that Renato has knocked up and uh, connected to the manifold. And he's actually disconnected those now and they're getting heated by the bombarder, which we have connected on the other end of these tubes. And we've just got them in series with that alligator clip lead there. And the other end is connected to the Bombarda transformer. We've worked out all the windings here and we're using it at full power. And uh, everything seems to be fine. Here's a quick shot of the unit when it's been switched off. As you can see, the pilot light is still on because the timer is still going and that'll go for half an hour, which is what it's set for and then that will switch the unit off completely but for the time being it's still going because the fans are cooling the uh, diffusion pump and the fans at the top corners one there and there's another one up there somewhere um, those fans are extracting the hot air but the most important one is the one inside the um, diffusion pump here which is located in there and that's spinning away um, so in half an hour that'll turn off and shut the whole system down but yeah that's a quick shot of the electrical control panel that I've put together is that bombarder turned on? can we flush it? there we go look at that bombarder's on can we turn it off? Flash it. Excellent. Turn it on. Turn it on again. Dial it down. Look at that. Dial it up. Beautiful. She's a working.